<laughs> wow. oh, well, my, my, my. If it isn't the great aviatrix Amelia Earhart. I have heard so much about you and your most splendid accomplishment. Is it true that you led an Air Force battalion made up entirely of suffragettes in the Great War? Such an idealist. Well, you came here on my offer to hire you as mercenaries and fight for women's freedom here in my great Middle Kingdom. I even promised to end foot-binding and concubine slavery. Foolish little white girl. Did you really think that I, the great Zhang Zhuolin, would need little girls to fly the planes of my warlord army? No. I have other plans for you and your great suffragette sisters, my dear Amelia. Oh, do not pout and cry. Do not try to cover up your soft white flesh. Oh, I shall bound your big American feet nice and tight. I'm going to break all those unnecessary foot bones so that you can walk gracefully like an Oriental. You shall be bathed and scented by my harem of concubines, dearest Amelia. You are nothing but a slave of the East now. Give up all your dreams of women's suffrage and similar nonsense. No longer shall you soar high above in the great blue yonder, my dear. I have clipped your suffragette wings. You are my caged bird. No, instead of fighting a war to further women's equality, you will meekly crawl before your Manchu master. This is the fate of all Western women who dare defy Oriental patriarchy. Your tender white flesh will be constantly whipped and abused as you learn your place as my cunt slave. Every day I shall force you to loudly proclaim the inferiority of your gender, my dear suffragette adventurers. <laughs> Do not look so sad, Amelia. At last, you are serving in your natural place in the cosmos. Ha <laughs> ha.